I didn't hear you. I just hit the record, so we okay. should be good. My audio is good for you. I see you okay. fine. Okay. Uh, okay, good. So um, uh, let's just get started. Sure. Uh, Mr. Secretary, give me a sense of where we stand right now in terms of the number of claims being filed and, and the calls coming into your office. Let me tell you something. It's been unprecedented. You know, with my department, you know, we understand what's happening across the state where people are losing their jobs, need money to feed their families, and just take care of their bills. In just the week ending March 7th, we had 28,000 calls. The week ending March 14th, we had 228,000 calls. And you heard the governor yesterday speak, and as of Monday, we had 21,000 new unemployment claims filed with my department. And just yesterday, 31,000. So we're meeting unprecedented levels of people who need our help, but to help them, we are staffing up you know, hiring staff odd companies. We interviewed, we have received 96 applications, interviewed 33 people, hiring other companies, expanding our vendors to have more people on staff to help individuals process these claims so they get money in their pockets. Uh, let me make a suggestion, unless you're reading something that, not. that is below, I, I would just tilt your eyes up. Okay, to the camera? It, it, yeah, it looks like you're looking down. Okay, so I'm good. Like, you know what, I'm just kind of sitting Okay, yeah. so like, you know, let me move the, how yeah, about no, that? Because I, I want you to, like, I don't want you to, so, like, it's oh, okay. Yeah. So, there. Is that there better? There you go. Yeah, that's much better, yeah. Yeah, so, I wouldn't read anything. I just got, because, like, it was down, and then, like, right. okay. So let's start I wasn't again. I not sure if you were looking at better? notes, and if you were wanting to get numbers right. No, 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 no. You, you caught me thinking, but let's do it again. Go for it again. Yeah, no, no, and if you want cash, you can actually cash your eyes a little bit up. Okay. Like, it still looks like you're looking, like you're looking down. So Does it? You can hold your head up. up. Yeah, Just, that's per yeah. So I, I don't want you to. Okay, if I yeah. don't look at the camera, it looks like I'm looking up. Heads up. If I look at the camera and you, it's down. Yeah, so exactly. Okay, so there we just, go. Yeah, How's exactly. That? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so, good. Um, so anyway, so again, you know, let's. I'll give you a chance to start if you want. Talk about the the number of claims that you've gotten come in and just the unprecedented level that you're having to deal with seeing in your office. Sure, hey, Jim. Let me tell you. It's been unprecedented, the number of unemployment claims that we received over the last several weeks. As the governor said, on Monday, we received 21,000 uh, unemployment claims. Yesterday, 31,000. You know, by virtue of what's been happening across the world, the state, and our communities, you know, we are staffing up to help our citizens get money to feed their families, you know, pay their bills. So I've interviewed 33 people where I received 96 applications, expanded my vendors who are providing assistance and also augmented my staff. We're doing everything we can to help other Floridians, you know, through this crisis. It's okay. Yeah, yeah sorry. It's all right. That, that all right, reminds right. me, I'm, I'm gonna put my phone on silent too. All right, just for all the right, same right. reason. I'm sorry, uh, I'm getting, making you go back and forth on this. That's all right. All right, so boom. Wanna do it one more time? One more time. You'll, you'll okay. get this down. Okay, 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 okay. Is your phone on silent? My phone's on silent too now, yes. Both my phones are on silent. Out of my pocket, I'm looking above the camera. <laughs> okay, let's go one more time. I'm going to just start, okay? You ready? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Just sit back a little because now, now you're okay, on. Okay, there? Off. There you go. Much better. Okay, okay, okay there you go. Okay, good. Hey, go ahead. Okay, listen. You know, what's happening is unprecedented. What we've seen across the country and our state that where people are losing their jobs, where they can't feed their families, we're doing our best as an agency to be there, to, to fill the void. In fact, as the governor said on Monday, we received 21,000 new unemployment claims, and just yesterday, 31,000. But to meet this need to ensure people can feed their families, have some money in their pockets, you know, I've, I'm augmenting my staff where I've received 96 applications, interviewed 33 people so far. I've increased the number of people who are supplied to my shop through a vendor. Also, I'm looking at different companies to augment my staff to increase our times, you know, to process these applications to help people. Also increasing the capacity on the computer system to ensure we take more applications that come through our website at floridajobs.org. But bottom line, we are committed as an agency to help our citizens during this time. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, obviously, I realize nobody can plan for something like this in terms of staffing levels. Yet we're hearing a lot of frustration from people who say they, they wake up early in the morning, start trying to call the number to get assistance, never are able to get through. That You know, you talk about hiring 33 people or interviewing 90. 
it seems like you've got to ramp up a lot more, a lot faster. Are you able to do that? And how many people do you think you'll need to process all these claims? I'm hired first. I'm going to ask our citizens to please be patient. I understand their frustration. You know, I was telling you what we're doing every single day, but I'm going to hire at least 100 more people to help the process. But let me tell you something. The week ending March 7th, we had 28,000 calls. Week ending March 14th, we had 224,000 calls. So we're seeing more calls every day. But every single day, we are focused on bringing more people on board, increasing our capacity, ensuring we have more uh, capacity to help the citizens of Florida during this time. But again, we get it. We get the frustrations. But we ask our citizens to be patient because we're working hard and being very aggressive to be better and to serve everyone who needs us. There's a perception that the system that you inherited, granted, mm -hmm. you know, you didn't create this system, sure. but that the system, many of the changes that were made under the Rick Scott administration when he was governor, basically set up a, a criteria that discouraged people from actually receiving benefits. Do you believe the system, despite this, needs overhauling so that people who are unemployed will get the assistance they need? Let me tell you this. When I came in in January 2019 and to today, I've constantly made sure the system is ready for a crisis. But I never predicted a crisis like this. You know, when a hurricane hits, we realize that perhaps people need assistance. So every month, really every day since I've been here, we constantly work with IT to ensure that the system is ready for additional capacity. But this is unprecedented. We never thought that we see this level of applicants coming through our system. So we're working hard to keep up and to expand because whatever happens in the future, we're going to be here to help our fellow Floridians. Well, that, again, and I'm, ta I'm not talking about the expansion of the system to meet the current needs. I'm talking about the underlying fundamentals of how we deal with unemployment in the state of Florida. I believe there's one study that says only about 12% of the people who are unemployed actually receive benefits in Florida. It's basically the design of the system, limiting the number of weeks, creating a system that until now you had to apply online, you had to show proof that you were seeking five jobs every week before you could qualify for benefits. That in other words, the system was designed to discourage people from receiving the benefits they need when, they, when they're unemployed. Yeah, I understand the question. Well, let me tell you this, going into this crisis, Unemployment was at 2.8% in January. You know, since the financial crisis 2008, we've seen you know number of jobs increase, um, job creators building companies, and seeing a strong economy leading into the situation. So, by virtue of where we've been as a state economically, the Florida Legislature decided on you know how much someone can receive, number of weeks they can receive benefits. So. You know, the entire leadership structure realized that we have a strong economy and was building this for temporary relief for someone who's out of work for a short period of time. No one anticipated for a crisis like this to happen. Therefore, uh, that's I, why we're ramping up. I understand that, but let's yeah. talk about the compensation that people do receive. Sure. Uh, again, Florida has some of the, like, I'll use the word stingy, some of the stingiest benefits of any state in the country. $275 a week is about the fifth lowest in the country. Only like Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi rank lower than Florida in the amount of dollars that they receive. The average amount across the country is $464 a month. Florida pays $275. Florida only gives those benefits for 12 weeks. 40 states at least give 26 weeks of unemployment insurance. I realize that's not in your control, but should that be revisited, not just for this crisis, but for the long term? Should people receive more when they're unemployed? Well, I can't speak to you know whether or not decisions made in the past were right or wrong. But I can only do it for the hand I have. And I'll leave it to the legislature when they come back together and look at the after effect of what occurred to make decisions about the benefits of the future and also extending the time period. But right now, with the hand I've been dealt, you know. I'm going to make sure that I increase the capacity to get the money out that we have on hand. We have four billion dollars in my back pocket for this system that give people reemployment assistance for 12 weeks and help as much as I can with what I have. Do you have an estimate as to how far that four billion dollars will go? 
Could you raise benefits if the legislature came back in special session and wanted to raise the amount of benefits they received? Would you would it deplete the trust fund or would you be able to handle that and be able to extend those benefits? You know, I have to evaluate the numbers and get back with you. But bottom line, what I have right now, based on the parameters that exist, I can move forward for at least two years. Two years at this current rate with four billion in the trust fund. Yes, sir. Four billion. Yes. So. Uh, now, I know that during the past economic crisis in 2008, 2009, then Governor Charlie Crist, I believe by executive order, increased the number of weeks that people could receive unemployment compensation. Have you had any discussions like that with Governor DeSantis to see if that whether or not or have you recommended that the state consider expanding the number of weeks that a person receives unemployment during this time? Let's face it, we may not be back to normal in 12 weeks. You know what, internally we've had multiple conversations about various things to improve the system and we'll make recommendations you know, at the appropriate time. But right now I'm focused on ensuring that I have the capacity and the staff to get money to people right now. If you could change something right now, what would you try to change? I'll get rid of this um, crisis. That's it. Oh. Be honest with you. But in terms of what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I can change is hire more people, increase the computer capacity, deal with the reality of what I'm facing to help everyone. And although I'm saying being patient, I get it. I get the frustrations. I get the fear. What I have to do is manage the fear by telling folks we are here. We are fully committed. And also the people working for me, they're Floridians too. They're afraid on a daily basis. They're concerned. And I'm comforting them. But they realize they have a mission to help all Floridians who are suffering in the situation. So with the hand we're dealt, we're going to do the best we can to increase staffing, on computer capacity and move forward. You, you talked before about how unemployment claims have gone up 21,000 on Monday, 31,000 on Tuesday. Who knows what today will bring? What do you anticipate the unemployment number jumping to in Florida? As you said, it was around 2.8%. What are we going to see a month from now or a few weeks from now when we report those numbers? I can't speculate. I can say it'll be higher than 2.8 for sure. Is it going to be higher than 10%? Is it going to be 15%? I can only speculate. I can't guess. But I do know this, is that when we get through this crisis, do everything I can to bring the numbers down where it is to ensure we're back in the position where we were in January at 2.8%. All right, Mr. Secretary, anything else you want to cover or talk about? I just want to say this. You know what? You know, we are here at DEO to do everything we can to help individuals and small businesses. And I'm going to ask all Everybody who's applying, going to our website at floridajobs.org and applying for reappointment assistance to be patient. You know, we're getting more people on board so we can push these applications forward so we can help you. But all of us have to work together. And my people, even though they're Floridians too or are working hard, are committed to serving the people of Florida. Do you know how many phone lines you ultimately want to try to have open? You know, I want to increase as much as possible. But you don't um, have a number. You don't like for, if you're trying to hire people to work on this. What is your goal number to get in? Is it is it hiring 100 people, 200 people, 500 well, as, people? As I said earlier, definitely hiring 100 people immediately. But beyond that, keep growing to I can bring down the times it takes for someone to talk to one of my people. Also have more capacity on the computer so it's easier to apply online. But, you know. It's a moving target right now based on the growing capacity, but I'm committed every day to increase the capacity that I have. And just last point, I just I know there's been some complaints. I think Senator Tadeo down in South Dade has talked about the availability of Spanish speakers on the on the line to be able to help some of the claims there. Also, I know some Creole or or, or Haitian speaker who can deal with the Haitian population that's now becoming unemployed, particularly housekeepers and others from hotel industry that are losing their jobs. Are you making sure that the people you hire are able to handle an array that we have here in Florida of different languages? I am. I'll tell you, during normal times, I have Spanish speakers. I have folks who can talk to others in uh, different languages. But by virtue of the unprecedented levels of calls, um, we've had to staff up on all levels. So we will. Okay. Anything your staff wants you to cover or go over or anything else? I think we're good. Okay, right, now, Secretary, sorry, I really appreciate down. your time. All right. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we're all getting tricky because, yeah, if you look down. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So that looked all right. Okay, good. That, that looked much so better, much. yes. All right. All right. Yeah, Thank you very much, place. sir. Bye-bye.